Hi, my name is Emma Talzeen, and this is the video for my kite lesson. It is a sixth grade math lesson where we're finding the surface area of kites from around the world. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the area formulas for my students um, because these are the areas that they'll need to make the nets to find the surface areas. So the area of a circle is pi r squared, the area of a rectangle is length times width, and the area of a triangle is one half base times height. We are then going to talk about surface area. This is a review lesson. So the students will know that surface area is the area that um, is the whole outside of an object. It's not just the front 2D part. And it's hard to find the surface area when you're thinking 3D. So for my sixth graders, we are going to be drawing nets of our kites to find the surface areas. So up here, I have the kite of the Native American um, tribute kite, which is found in the document. There are pictures of all the kites from around the world we will be using, and all of the uh, resources that I pulled the images of the kites from are in that little box at the end of my lesson plan that say resources. They are all there, and you can find every single one of them. Um, so we are doing the Native American tribute kite. We know the dimensions are six feet tall by four feet wide and the base is two feet wide by three feet tall. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the surface area of the front face which is this shape but to do so we are going to break this we're going to put the shape in a rectangle and subtract areas because that's the easiest way to do it. So over here, I have my rectangle. There's kind of a glare, but this is six feet by four feet by two feet. The rectangle here has dashed out lines that represent the cutouts in the flag to make it more of a T shape. So we need to find the area of this rectangle first. This rectangle is four feet by six feet. So we are going to multiply four feet by six feet and get 18 feet squared. Remember the squared, that's super important because we are working in area. We are then, we're not, it's not gonna be 18 feet squared, it's gonna be 24 feet squared. Jumping ahead of myself. So, we have the area of this whole rectangle. Now we need to take away the cutout areas. We know that this is two feet and this is four feet. So four minus two equals two divided by two equals one. Each of these sections are gonna be one foot wide. And we know because of our givens that this area is going to be three feet. So we have a three feet here. So we need to find the areas of our little cutout rectangles. To do so, we are going to multiply the sides because area of a rectangle is length times width, just like we did for this whole thing. Three times one equals three feet squared. Since we have two of those three feet, er three feet squared areas, we need to multiply our three by two. So three feet squared by two equals six feet squared. Six feet squared is the area of these cutout chunks. And to find the area of the T shape, we need to subtract these two, this, these areas from the whole rectangle. So this six feet is gonna come over here and be subtracted by 24. We're gonna do 24 feet squared minus six feet squared equals 18 feet squared. This is the total area of the T shape. We're going to come back over here and we're going to put a big old 18 feet squared in here. So we remember. Now remember, this is just the front side. We also need to find the area of the back side. To do so, we're just going to multiply it by 2 because it's the same area. So we are going to do 18 feet squared 
times 2 equals 36 feet squared. 36 feet squared is the area of both of these T-shapes. Now, since surface area also accounts for the pieces that hold this together, because it is a 3D object, so it has um, a thickness, we are going to come to this side of the board. We are making the assumption that the thickness of the kite is one inch thick. And so we need to find the perimeter of the whole kite. To do so, we are going to add all sides. So we have our, we're going to take our knowns. We have four feet plus two feet plus six feet plus six feet plus three feet plus three feet. And we decided that these are each one foot. So we're going to add one foot for each. This is going to give us a grand total of 20 feet. That's moving. So we have a grand total of 20 feet that is our perimeter of this shape. Now we need to get our units similar because we cannot multiply inches by feet. That's just not how this works. So how many feet are how many inches are in a feet? 12. You're right. You got it. You're so smart. So we're going to put 1 over 12 inches. It's going to be feet because that's how we convert to feet. Times 20 feet, which is the perimeter. And we are going to get 1 and 2 thirds feet squared. So this is the area of the little piece that runs around the whole outside of the of the kite. So now we need to add one and two thirds feet squared plus the total of both of our T's, which is 36 feet squared. And you will get a grand total of 37 and two thirds feet squared. That will be your surface area of the Native American um, tribute kite. The students are going to be partnered up, and they are going to need to find the surface area of all the kites provided, and then compare them with another group. So now that you guys have an example to go off of, you are going to have the rest of the class period to find the surface area of every kite provided. Remember, there are um, basic dimensions needed and you just got to draw them out and I have faith in you guys. So good luck.